In 1975, approximately 90% of female sports were coached by females. In 2015, the number of female coaches in female athletics dropped to 40%. Alicia Jessup, a sports law professor at the University of Miami, shares her thoughts on why the number of female coaches in female athletics has continued to decline since Title IX. During the time period that that law was enacted, you see essentially a 50% plus decline of female coaches. That's definitely startling and it raises concerns. So one thing that could be happening is women's sports has improved immensely. The level of skill that women have in athletic competition, if you were to watch footage of, let's say, a women's basketball game in 1972 versus a women's basketball game in 2016, my hunch is that the level of skill that the women in 2016 have far surpasses the women in 1972 because thanks to Title IX, they've been given more equal opportunities to access sport. Coaching jobs and the opportunity to access those coaching jobs is becoming more competitive. Perhaps what is happening is maybe now more men are applying to coach female sports. And so now because there's more candidates, there could be more male coaches than there were in the past. There's still another lingering problem. If you look at Division I athletics, in 2015, only 4.5% of the top athletics departments had a head female athletics director. It's men making the hiring decisions. And so there could be some potential bias in those hiring decisions. Those familiar with sports realize that a lot of times it's not necessarily what you know or how good you are at something, but it's who you know and who you have access to. I've actually completed research that shows that the more a person networks, the higher likelihood they have of getting hired as a college athletics director. I haven't done the research for coaching, but my hunch is it's probably very similar because who hires the coach is the athletics director. If the athletics director doesn't know you, how are they going to hire you? I think one thing that would really help women is if they break out of their comfort zone and they network with people of all different backgrounds. The fact of the matter is, is in 2016, most hiring decisions are made by men. And so if you're only networking with women, sure, that's important. But more likely than not, it's going to be the man making the hiring decision, so you also need to network with them. In the world of college sports, the role of the executive search firm has become increasingly important. If we look at some coaching hirings, oftentimes the coach who is hired is represented by an executive search firm or a coaching agency that also represents the athletics director. I think if those things are done, and if a woman has the skills, talent, and drive necessary, we'll see this number flip back to where it should be over time.